here I have a, a provisional license, a provisional key. Uh, I can see that the features here are feature 5 that was created uh, for 30, day, 30 days. How can I see that uh, the features are in a provisional license and not activated and, and permanent license? I can see them by, let me show you another key, this one, which is shorter. If we go to this key features, we can see this uh, icon uh, that it, it is locked. And meaning the, the fact that it is locked, it means that it is not provisional. It is a permanent locked uh, key. But this key that was created is a provisional one. And now I would like to suppose that this customer was satisfied with, with the product, with the demo. And now he would like to get not only the feature for 30 days, he would like to get this feature 5 as a permanent one for, for lifetime, for perpetual. So what are the steps that ISV needs to do in order to allow this license to be activated? The very first thing to do is to go to the EMS. Now we have created a feature, a product, sorry, that is called with 5 and below it uh, we did the provisional. Now what he, he needs to do is to create a, a product a product key. A product key is like a, a number that represent uh, the new license uh, and the new license will include this uh, with five uh, product which allow him to use uh, the license as a permanent uh, perpetual one. So the steps are as following. We go to entitlement and create a new entitlement. Now, this uh, radio buttons, uh, if it's on the left side, it means that there is a hardware HL key connected to the machine that I would like to burn it. If it's on the right side, it means that we want to update the license remotely. We did so. But there is a, a product key option, and this product key is, an, is, a, is a, a number at the end of the of this uh, step we will get a number and this number, specific number, will be used in order to activate uh, the provisional license. So the very first thing I choose product key uh, and over here uh, I can provide details about the customer, it doesn't matter right now, but what is important is to, to add a product, why? Because I would like to, uh, to make a, a link between the number of this product key that will be created and the product that I want to add. So there is a list of products that I have. I will choose of course the with 5 that includes the feature 5 that I've created. And now what I will do, I will produce. So product key or key is generated. It's a number. Let's download it. It's here like, like a text file and this is the number. Now what I have to do as an ISV, send this number to my end user and the end user will use this number, this specific created number, in order to get his license activated into feature 5 for uh, permanent for perpetual. So now I'm like the end user who received this uh, number. What I do is I go, I take this number and I'm as an end user will also use the EMS. I will get this link, switch to customer portal. As an end user I will get this link of the where the server, the EMS server can serve me as an end user. And once I click on it, I will get all, the only thing is a product key that I have to provide. This product key was prov given uh, from the ISV and then login. And now I can uh, provide details about who I am, etc. But I can register later if I would like. And then I have the option 
to do an online activation. Why? Because I do have here a product called with five and I can have it as a perpetual license. So if I do an online activation, Do you want to upgrade the current version of the runtime? Let's say no. Which key would I like to uh, to activate? So I would like to activate uh, this one. I think let's uh, let's check once again the number uh, that we have here. It's uh, zero twenty eight at the end. So this is the one, activate. Activation installed successfully. Let me go back to the keys. And now, if I go there, I see uh, this uh, 028 is, uh, is, is staying the same. Still the same features that were provided for 30 days. However, I have another new key, this one, new created key. And the features here are 0 and 5, but now, first of all, they are locked, and secondly, they are perpetual, meaning I can use them for lifetime. So, this process of creating product key and then activating it by the end user uh, is called an activation. Um, and this is uh, the procedure in order to do it. So, thank you very much for watching.